from behind, on all fours, in the dark and in public, preferably without an audience, with or without protection, face to face with the light on in the hallway. Sideways saddle on a chair big enough to hold us both, partly elevated in the bathroom or kitchen countertop, the Catherine wheel, the kneeling wheelbarrow, the column, the visitor, the Androni. The one where I take you from behind, the butterfly, the masochist, with ropes and paddles outside during a windstorm at the doctor's office while we wait in the shower unless you prefer a hot bath on Sunday. Tarp the area. Everything has been sharpened and serrated. There's something about the way her face looks when I enter. Animal, mold, spoil, allergy, sun glare, Shakespearean spasm, frostbitten, teeth grind, jaw lock, forehead wince, neck web, belly whale, back slurp, toe perm. Put a towel down to sop up the overturn of bodies, imagery. I could wait for spring and take you on a picnic. I could cook up a feast of meat, chickpeas and artichokes and spinach, mollusks and prunes. I could make up a term of endearment that I haven't dusted off after using on another. I can call you a cab afterwards. I can tell you this means something. I can cuddle you afterwards as we make our way into seizure and swamp. Dear blood, I want to enter you as though we've never met before. As though you've never seen my worst behaviors and my voice is like a song that curls out of an instrument for the very first time. I want to put the weapons away. I want to be in a room full of white sheets and walls and forgo the fear of stains because of how careful we will be. I want to take things slow now. Dear blood. There are shades of life in your red and in your camouflage you are tints of grape and berry. How about you tell me at the time you were most afraid? It cannot possibly be claustrophobia. Dear body, you have been mispronouncing me all along. I fear your fingers unwashed and greedy. Dear blood, during times of catastrophe, you've been asked to leave. I'm sorry about the ones who touched you without permission. I called it borrow. You call it thievery. All that sex could have been far more toxic. We got through it with creams and celibacy. Now you never have to leave me. Dear body, you want to apologize? Put away the death threats and breathe in my oxygen. My vital signs have sequestered just like the direction of my pump, dear body. You never ask if this is comfortable or consensual. I've been storing up nose for almost 35 years. You want to call this arousal? We feel something, but one dies a little each time this pleasure is picked on. Dear blood. I'm looking to be transported. My bones are wrinkled. Give me iron, please. I've run out of time on this Metro card. Circulate me away from here. I can make you feel good. I can put on some purple lace with ambiguous straps and patterns. I can slip myself into something less comfortable like the gender I was assigned. I can misspell my name and we can pretend to be strangers. Dear body, each carving attempts to set me free, but maybe I want this imprisonment. Maybe I long to be held inside. Maybe I am not looking for air. Dear blood, I can wash my hands first. I can put a condom over this razor blade. How about I run a bath for us so when I fist my way toward your waterfall, we can practice our strokes. How do you prefer your casket, porcelain or tree flesh? Whoa.